Hey guys, and welcome back to Zen Oz Gaming Hub. My name's Zen, and today I thought I'd do um, a video on Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's one of my favourite, my favourite games out. It's been out for a few years now. It's been out since 2018, but it's still, in my opinion, very good. Still looks really pretty. Amazing story set in the medieval period. There's some famous voice actors in the game as well. Yeah, so I thought I'd do a video about the game, and if if I really enjoy what I'm doing, I might just do an entire playthrough of the game. All right. So without further ado, let's get into a new game. Okay, so new game, normal mode or hardcore mode? <clears throat> hardcore mode, uh, more realistic, recommend for players who are familiar with the essentials of combat and survival in the world of Kingdom Come Deliverance. We'll go with normal mode for now. I already completed this game, it was very good, so we'll, uh, we'll start right from the beginning. I deleted all my saves and I started a new game, so let's get down to business. Oh yes, this is also based on Hungarian medieval history, the Holy Roman Empire. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, 
Just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <clears throat> Fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Uh, by means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select character default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characters can be further developed without limitations. Uh, let's go with strength, obviously. I was sweating in the forage all day yesterday. And then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something mm, you're not telling level. me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Uh, we, did sprint, uh, we did strength. Let's go with... Uh, let's do archery. Like agility, I guess. Or vitality. Agility. No, it's just Matthias was teaching me archery. Archery? Do you want to become a poacher? Have you any idea of the punishment for that? And where did you get a bow anyway? Oh, come on. I've no interest in poaching. It's just a bit of fun. Oh, Christ, give me strength. Just don't do anything stupid. For the love of God, promise. I promise. Okay. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. That's unfair. Really? So where were you until the small hours last night? I was... with Bianca, of course. You mean at Bianca's tavern? And who was there with you? No, don't tell me, let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Well, at least you were with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for supper sometime. Your father's very fond of her. Yeah, of course he is. He thinks he'll be able to wheedle the secret of beer brewing out of her. <laughs> You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. At least he's interested in something, unlike you lot. You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging one day. You mark my words. Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Sir Radzig. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Yeah, you find lots, lots of dialogue in this game, but it's all very, uh, very well done. Hmm. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. All right, let's see another dialogue. I can't save yet. How do I save again? Oh, I need those thingies. Yeah, that's how you save. Save your snaps. Uh, I'll leave that for now. Let's pick up some cheese. Can I just eat from this pot? Oh, hold down E to eat. Okay, let's eat an apple.
Is there any bread? Whoops. Eat from the pot. Oh. That'll work. Okay, compass tells you where to go. You can wash yourself in these tubs as well, which is cool. Yeah, it still looks very nice, even though it's a few years old. Come here, I need your help. At least you're up, that's a start. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. What? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use oh, the yeah, I remember to buy that the bit. charcoal. Kunesh? Not drunkard? <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure I'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. All right. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Right. I did save automatically good. Um buy a bag of charcoal, so I need to go let's go get the cross guard from the castle first since it's right here. Shift his run. Been a while since I've played this, but it's really nice. Have all the details. Really pretty world. If you do play this and install it, you might want to install it on a hard drive that's on an SS it's a SSD. Otherwise you might have issues. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzig. And the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sasau. Right, they're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. And did I ever botch anything? <sighs> Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want or I'll kick your ass this evening. <laughs> right away, your lordship. Magnificent! Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Okay, cross guard is done. Now... We need to go deal with... The guy who owes us money. chickens. There he is. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Ooh. Hmm. Knew you'd be trouble. Father says if you don't pay up, he'll come here himself and hammer those nails into your hairy ass. I'd like to see him try. Fuck off, you bastard, or your old man will be pulling those nails out of you. 
Ooh. Persuasion. Okay, it gives you a different thing here. Persuade. Alright. Should be able to remember that. Pay you drunkard. I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me. Would you? You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach oh. you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Goodbye. Okay. Left hook. Left click. Right, it's jab. F kicks the opponent away. Tab to lock opponent. Shift to unlock. Q's to ra raise block. Alright. Oh, you son of a bitch. You're going to cr oh. ah. What was that? Oh. Oh. Sod. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, dear, dear. <clears throat> Is this jerk? Oh, damn. Come on. Oh, damn. Oh, come off it. Gotcha. That's a beauty. Come on, you little fucker. Watch my stamina. Was it? You like that, do you, mate? Here, yeah, another one. You like it? Huh? Want some more? Oh, you fucker. Oh, what the fuck? A block. Oh, come off it. You had it coming, you pup. And your old man can fuck off too. That's fucking bollocks. Fuck off, you prick. Come off it. Curse it! Take that! Fuck off. Bitch. Someone there. Go. Get out of here now, Mr. Lamantry. Yes. God bless you. The hell? Right, I don't to do now because I'm all messed up. Still don't know how you beat me, that's ridiculous. Stop bleeding. Oh, now, stop squealing like a baby and show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. Well, that instantly healed me. That's pretty good, actually. All right, let's wash the dirt off myself. Let's go fight this guy again, hopefully. Uh, 
Or is this fat lump? Is he gone for good? He like ran away. Let's go rob him. I think this is his house. to get into that. Fritz might have one. Is that Fritz? Henry, I'm glad you came. Hey, Pip! Do you want to learn something? No. Rags, fabric, brocade, satin. We'll find you A bloody hell's Fritz. You can't be serious, Dutch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to? He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope God be with is you, opposed Henry. to your king. I'm with you, Matthew. So What's Henry going on here? Deutsche spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire! <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you... Talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Kutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? You're too I my view. You should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge parlement You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Radzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And... It's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? All right, I'll do it. But then you have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kroner shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of him, and I can't handle it on my own. No problem. We'll back you up. Just as soon as we're done plastering Deutsch's house. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken elf. All right. Let's go while Deutsch is still sitting safely in the tavern. 
Welcome, Henry. Henry. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the Pope's. He might have mentioned the Pope's too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. Time to fling some turds. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, Doshas! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse Hans, I'll make those smites off your faces. Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutscher? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker! I'll make you pay for that! <laughs> What's the matter? Lost your ball. <laughs> Whoa, got him a beauty. <laughs> Just one dude left. That's a really beautiful game still. Combat's fun. It just takes a minute to learn it all. And obviously the more you practice at combat, hey, the more you... Uh, hey, come to see us. The more you learn, and the better you get at it. Ah. <laughs> 
All right, let's try and get this drunkard dealt with. If he came back. Oh, he did come back. Okay, good. Where are they going? Oh, they're going to meet up here, are they? Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? Old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, I'll let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. I need a hand with Kunesh. Sure, mate. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it then. Let's go rough him up again. Mm? Kunesh, get out here, you old goat. I've something to show you. What the fuck are you here for? He's still Bruce the last thing I gave him. You will call a catch pole? Just try it, you old drunk. Cunt. Cunt. <laughs> You asked for it. There you go, that works. Enough! Enough! I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? I got the key to his trunk. Hey. Give me that axe. Alright, I found something worth selling. There he is. It's the guys just beat up. God be with you, Henry. What was B? Oh, this guy who trains me. Da -da 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 -da. I'll do the ale last, so I need to go sell this stuff and buy some charcoal. Right, how much charcoal do I need? Buy a bag of charcoal at the market, 0 of 10. Alright. Good health to you. See you later. Which god do I have? Zero. Right, sell. A haggle. Let's try. Can we do something about the price. Why not? All right. W S and E. Okay. Should be able to do that. Since it's you, that's too much. God be with you, Henry. Forget it then. Oh, damn, it didn't work. I tried. Let's try again. God be with you. Uh. 
Let's have a word about the price. Why not? Agree? Less. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. Okay, now I should buy charcoal. Ten pieces, I think he said it was, wasn't it? How much money do I have? Five G's. Haggle the price again. Let's talk about the price. Why not? Agree? That's not enough. Aye, that would do it. All right, good. Cool, got the coal, charcoal. Okay, let's try some combat with this guy, shall we? Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold. Beach went up. How are you, Henry? Long and strong to sew up anything you need. All right, let's go do this now, actually. Uh, yeah, it's got to the sheep folding it now. Really like this music. Yeah, the combat's really fun in this game. But like I said, it just takes a little bit of getting used to. Alright, let's begin, shall we? So, can we get started? We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Wooden swords? How do I get the sword Very out? Well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. So it does. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Mm -hmm. Now you're getting it. Good. All right. Nice. All right. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Good. Once again. Nice. Fine. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Fine. Good. Once again. All right. All right. That's 
that's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember, though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. Welcome, Henry. Hmm? Oh yeah, I think you can play dice and stuff as well to make extra money. I'm glad you stopped by. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye, bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanya? I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favourite... Save your schnapps. There we really? go. You're an angel. Say so save. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. <laughs> cool. It's the codex. Codex, you got map of the world. Shows you where everything is in town. Uh, you get side quests. Uh, and there's your player level. I actually went up a level, didn't I? Uh, what does that do? Manly odor. Uh, info Manly Hoda when dirty a fit of sense uh, charisma when talking to women however people will smile you a mile off reducing your strength uh, sorry stealth skill by 30% Uh, you'll last 30% longer without food. Let's do that. Okay. Defense. Oh, I thought I went up a level in some of this. Maybe I didn't. It just tells me about each weapon. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, oh, my strength did go up. Okay, blocking with a shield costs 30% less stamina. I think we're going to go sword and shield anyway, so that works. Agility. Okay, we're done on that. Excuse me. There's your stats down there. And this is your inventory items. Go up here. Alright. any further I'm gonna make a save here quickly there we go yeah he says you can, you can uh, buy the snaps from uh, vendors I think you can make them as well so it's kind of good right let's hand us over about time have you got everything I wanted I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sasal did for us. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damned if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have you got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. <clears throat> By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. <laughs> sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the king. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made, and apologise to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught, making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and war. You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Yeah. 
He slipped. Good. That was permanent. Once more. A white hot. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. It's magnificent. Be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Whoops. Yeah, I think another way of saving is just sleeping. When you sleep, it saves. <laughs> Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Fine lass, eh? Now, stop staring at her and come and see this. <laughs> it's time for the trial by fire. We did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? Let try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. 
I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Isvan. Have a safe journey to Sasau. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Huh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in scallets, here, beneath <coughs> the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them or beat them? Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry! What about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Oh, 
So many fools. Right, I need to. Uh, I've died here before. I need to be careful. Alright, I should probably save here, unless it saves. Alright, got a sword. Game saved. How to pull my sword out? There we go, one. One puts it away. Cool. Fuck off, you I probably shouldn't have done that with the die now. <laughs> yeah, he's got me. Bollocks! <laughs> Whoops. Let's try again. Shit. Maybe whistling the horse near him is probably the best approach. I can't take three guys fully armed. I've got no armor apart from a sword. Ah. Them. How do I get on a horse? Let me get on a horse, please. X. There we go. No, not off the horse. Run.
are bleeding. Oh, run. Crap, they're right behind me. Run, damn it. Come on. Oh my god. Jesus. Ow. Left. Talmor gets to the left along the stream. Jesus. Yeah. Come on, move. Get out, asshole. Flee. Jeez. Surprised I'm not dead yet. The horse must be tired. They're right behind me. Come on! Run for it! Run out of the way! Run for it! There! Yeah. Come on. Go! They'll kill you all! Come on, horse. You can do it. Don't kick me off. Yeah. Come on, almost there. There we go, Jesus. That was intense. Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tatars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. With your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. 
War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Okay, I think I'll uh, stop the video there for now. That's uh, end of part one. I'll see you in part two.